Hi, my name is Pernilla Lilla Rose from Be Kind to Yourself, Listen to Your Heart. Most of us never learned how to be kind to ourselves. Did you learn that when you grew up? Did you learn that when you were a child? Did you learn how to be kind to yourself, how to love yourself when you were at school? You know, me neither. I had to figure that one out on my own. I didn't really have any teachers who showed me how to do that when I grew up. But I figured it out and it took me a lot of work and I'm happy to share it with you and with anybody else who's ready to embrace themselves in the love, in the kindness that is actually our true nature. So we don't really have to change or be different than we are. We just need to allow ourselves to be the fullness of what we already are. And that's the task that Rumi is saying when he says, Your task is not to seek for love, but merely to seek and find all the barriers within yourself that you have built against it. Right? We have built barriers against love. It seems ridiculous, but we've all done it. And what we do then is we run around out in the world looking for love, hoping somebody will love us because we certainly don't love us. We may love a little bit of here and there about us, maybe our, I don't know, our hair, our eyes, our whatever, our talents. But to fully embrace ourselves in all our beauty and all our maybe not so beauty, that is the task and those are the barriers that we need to seek and we need to find and we need to dissolve and that's the trick Rumi didn't mention anything about how to do it he just told it that we should do it so I'm here to take the next step from Rumi and show you how to do that First, we need to learn to be kind to ourselves. And that in itself is a big task because most of us have these resistances built around us to who we really are. And we hate ourselves and we try to change ourselves and we compare ourselves and we try to be like everybody else or we try to be like nobody else, right? There's an ongoing resistance to just being who we are. And most of us have never figured that out. And that is actually quite a task. It, it has been for me. It was not easy. I was struggling, probably like just like you, like the rest of the world, trying to be loved, trying to figure out what was wrong with me, why nobody loves me the way I know I could be loved and I, the way I want to be loved. And it was because I didn't love me the way I could be loved. And it's been a hard road and I'm here to make it easier for you because I found some really helpful steps. Just in this little video, I'll just mention the steps and then you can think about where you are in this range of being kind to yourself, loving yourself and see if you're ready to take it to the next level. And I can just say, I could just tell you, hey, it's worth it. Every single step. So for me, the first step has been to learn to listen to all the voices, all the parts in myself that were in conflict, that were struggling, that I was trying to get rid of. I had to really stop and start paying attention to everything about me. I had to turn my attention inward and start listening with an open heart, with a kind ear. I had to start learning to be kind to myself so I could really start getting to know me on all levels. What my fears were, what my joys were, my longings, my likes, my dislikes. And even though those are not really who I am, as long as I've been resisting them all, that's who I thought I was. And because I thought I was those likes, dislikes, resistances, whatever it was, I, because I was identified with those parts of me, I was trying to shape my life according to who I thought I was. But in reality, I never really got to know who I really am at the 
before, just like you may not quite know that about yourself yet. You might be looking. We all look and look and look and we try and we work hard. But finally it dawned on me that I am the love that I'm looking for. And the only reason I found that or started understanding that was because I started being kind to myself and started listening to the parts that I would normally try to get rid of or try to pretend they weren't there or try to make look like they were different. You know, all the parts of ourselves that we don't like, like my judgmental side, my comparing side, my feeling better side, my feeling lesser side, all these parts that we kind of try to hide from each other. I had to face them all with a lot of love. And until I could start loving them, I first needed to be kind to them. It was like extending an open heart and an open ear and say, okay, I'm ready to listen to you now. I'm not going to reject you anymore. I'm here. I'm willing to learn what you are about, what you want, what I have been ignoring about you my whole life. That was the approach I had to take about myself. And it was, it was really an amazing road. So once I started listening, being kind to all the parts that were in pain, that were in fear, that didn't feel loved, then I could actually start dissolving the barriers that Rumi talks about. And then I could start loving myself. Now, loving myself did not come natural, and it didn't happen overnight. And there's still areas in my life that I really have to consciously stop and listen and then love the part. So it's, it is, it's been a two-step process for me. It's like the willingness to be kind to myself by listening and paying attention to me by respecting me, what I'm about, what I'm here for. And then the next step is kind of an bringing love to those parts. It's like loving them into wholeness, loving them into the oneness of all of me, so that there was not me here judging them, trying to keep them away, so there was all this duality going on. It's been a matter of, okay, I know you're out here and I'm going to come and listen to you now with love. And in that, I could bring this part back home. And then the duality, the two-ness was gone. Right back into the love. You can do that too. It's really possible. It's possible to come back into wholeness with yourself and start honoring and respecting who you are and why you're here. I would love to help you with that. And I'm offering a number of projects, classes. I have a book called Imagine Being Kind to Yourself. I'm offering a number of things. And if you would like to know more about that, please put your name and your email here on this page so you get on my email list. And then I will send you some information about it. You can also order some of the things here right on my website. So take the time and start listening to yourself. Do it right now and listen to yourself to see if this is actually something that you want to do. Don't just put your name on there because I suggest it. Listen to yourself with a kind ear and see if this is something you would like to learn some more about. Thank you for stopping by and I look forward to connecting more with you.